Hey, <laughs> I was chopping wood and I suddenly realized that this is what following your passion should feel like. This is what doing what you're passionate about should feel like. Now let me explain. You find something that you like, that you really enjoy, that really gives you a rush, okay? And you enjoy doing it. That doesn't mean that it's always going to be easy. You first need to prepare for it and believe me, putting a gigantic chop of wood on that, like bringing a chop of wood here, it's not easy. It's heavy and everything. Then you get the thing in front of you. Of course, you need to have the right tools and everything. Um, and then there's this moment where you start, in this case, swinging the axe, right? And you swing it and you really have to feel the moment where it's time to finally pull it down and BAM! Ugh. In that moment when you hit it right and the piece of wood just breaks in half, that is Oh, that is just so purely satisfying. That's really when you're like, yeah, like this is what I'm supposed to do. This is what I want to do in life because this is so incredibly satisfying. It's not always going to work out like you expected. You may need to adjust your expectations. You would like for the piece of wood to chop exactly in four pieces. That doesn't really happen. The important thing is that the way you're doing it, it feels right. <laughs> Bam. Mainly the BAM part is what I like. If you are doing something and say you don't have a good aim, right? Say you don't have a good aim or um, you don't really have that much body strength, chopping wood is going to be really hard for you. And yes, practice can help, but practice isn't anything. If you really, if you really have bad aim and if you really aren't strong enough to lift an ax, you can try how much you want you're just going to suffer incredibly through it it's going to be such a torture it's going to feel physically and emotionally degrading and frustrating and it's going to strain you and it's going to suck all of the energy out of you and you're not going to be able to chop wood so then you won't be able to do your job you're spending an insane amount of energy on it and you'll be cold in the winter that doesn't sound like a good deal a good deal is you have a feeling for it. It's, it's like a flow experience where it just happens. Whatever you're using, it's an extension of your own body and you can make it work. And you just swing it and that's it. Ah. Oh.